All right, from the Capitol, a bill putting millions of dollars in taxpayer money towards incentives for companies to come to Oklahoma will likely be signed by the governor next week. Uh, he says it will likely bring thousands of jobs. Let's go to News 9's Jordan Daphnis, who's live at the state Capitol with more on the LEAD Act. Jordan, good morning. Good morning. The LEAD Act would take around $700 million in taxpayer dollars, and that money would go toward offering incentives for large corporations like Canoe, that's an electric car company, and we all know Panasonic, to come here to Oklahoma and operate their business. Now, supporters of the measure say it will create a minimum of 4,000 direct jobs. Once indirect jobs are factored in, that number could more than double to up to 10,000 jobs. To qualify, a company would have to spend more than $3.6 billion building its facility and meet annual employment markers. The reward? A 3.4% rebate on the total cost of construction. If that's the case, Panasonic could receive $613 million over five years. That measure received bipartisan support, but some did express concern. We don't represent corporations. We don't represent businesses. We represent the mom and pops who own those businesses, and those mom and pops from Shawnee, Oklahoma are struggling. They're looking for us to be good stewards of their money, and we're taking their money and giving it to a corporation. And Governor Kevin Stitt is expected to sign House Bill 4455 on Monday. Live at the state capitol, Jordan Daphnis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.